are such an asshole. Hello, guys. Um, this is a, a Clary test request. We pay an extra. Remember, asshole consulting is only closed if you don't want to pay triple prices. If you want to pay triple prices, I'll answer questions. Uh, and this is from the guy, our sponsor at AlaskaChaga.us. He sells a lot of Chaga tea. He wants a Clary test request. Hey, Clary, really appreciate the video made for the Chaga. I hadn't paid you yet, so I'd like to do so and add a Clary test. A lot of your viewers are interested in Japan, so I'd like to you to test writer Yukio Mishima. Please give a shout out to Bronze, Bronze Age Pervert because I first learned of Mishima from his podcast. Mishima is often referred to as a unreconstructed Nietzsche, Nietzschean. Here's some links, blah, 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 booty boo. So um, I tried to download, well, I didn't try, I succeeded. I succeeded in downloading a documentary about him. I started listening to it when I was going to sleep and I had dreams of people in, in Japan and I was in Japan because it turned out the entire documentary was in Japanese. So that wasn't much help. So let's go and look up Yukio. <clears throat> Mishima. And another thing I noticed is he committed suicide at a young age and I'm very curious of uh, men who commit suicide who have had success who've achieved some notoriety because when you get the the, the loser neat or somebody like do broded it and borrowed money to live the life and convince the wife to marry him and then loses it I, I'm not I'm not impressed with those people but when you have a mind like this uh, all of a sudden commit suicide it's kind of like oh that's that's kind of interesting <clears throat> so let's go here uh Kimitaki Hikora Born 1925, died in 1970, also known for his pen name, Yukio Mishima, who was a Japanese author, poet, playwright, actor, model, film director, nationalist, and founder of the Tatanokai of the Tatanokai. Mishima is considered one of the most important Japanese authors of the 20th century. He was considered for the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1968, but the award went to his countryman Yasunari Kawabata. His works include the novels Confessions of a Mask and The Temple of the Golden Pavilion and the autobiogra autobiographical essay, Sun and Steel. Mishima's work is characterized by its luxurious vocabulary and decadent metaphors. Oh, I don't know if I like reading him, then. Let's like, get to the point. Its fusion of traditional Japanese and modern Western literary styles and its obsessive assertions of the unity of beauty, eroticism, and death. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm starting to believe more and more in um, beauty, uh, as in I don't know what else there is between the sexes, but beauty's on the inside. Uh, Mishima's personal life was controversial, which makes him a contested figure today. Ideologically a right-wing nationalist. What's wrong now? I, 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 and? <laughs> Mishima formed the Tatanokai, an unarmed civilian militia. Well, for the avowed purpose of restoring power to the Japanese emperor. Okay, well, hang on now. Where did where did the Japanese emperor get ya? On November 25th, 1970, Mishima and four members of his militia entered a military base in central Tokyo, took the commanded commandant hostage, and attempted to inspire the Japanese self-defense forces to overturn Japan's 1947 constitution. When this was unsuccessful, Mishima committed seppuku. All right, so he killed himself in a matter of battle. All right. <laughs> Uh, so let's go early life. Don't think he had a good life during World War II. Uh, born Yotsuda District, father was a government official, the fifth principal of academy. Father was a scotchant, but a but a boo. Younger sister died of typhus. Dominated by presence of grammar, took the boy separating from his immediate for several years. Um, interesting. His grandmother uh, kind of kidnapped him, I guess. <clears throat> uh, Natsuko, his grandmother, was the granddaughter of... I guess she was a bureaucrat or high up. So he came from wealth, but I'm going to try and figure out how World War II throws that into a tailspin. And he's going through all the, the background of his grandmother. I, I just want to know what his what his dad did. Uh, he returned to his family when he was 12. His father, a man of with a taste for military discipline, employed parenting tactics such as holding the boy up to the side of a speeding train. 
He also raided Mishima's door room for evidence of an effeminate interest in literature and often ripped apart the boy's manuscripts. Yeah, you can see where he might have come from a harsh. So, <clears throat> let's only give him half a point. Uh, because this sounds like... Reminds me of American Beauty where you had that Marine just ripping apart his son. He read in European and Japanese authors, studied German, French, English, he became the youngest editor of both literary society, poetry, a short story, <clears throat> got a draft notice, he had a cold, a cold, young army doctor heard rails from the lungs, which was misdiagnosis tuberculosis, he was declared unfit. Although his authoritarian father had forbidden him to write any further stories, Mishima continued to write every night in secret, supported and protected by his mother, who was always the first to read a new story. Attending lectures during the day and writing at night, Mishima graduated from the University of Tokyo. He obtained a position in an official government finance ministry, set up a prime career. Mishima exhausted himself so much his father agreed to his resigning from the position of first year employment to form himself to writing. Okay, so... Sounds like an academic. I'm, I'm going to give him a point against it. What his degree was, I don't know, but I'm going to guess it was in literature. And we could say any degree was a good degree back then. Half a point still. Then he goes right to government. Post-war literature. Wrote novels, novellas, short stories, essays. I wonder, was he living at home? Visited famed writer taking that. Yeah, what did he like? I'm, I'm looking for. Oh, and then he worked at the factories making widgets. Wrote his first novel. Acting and modeling. Okay. <clears throat> Wasn't exactly. Private life. Took up weight training, workout regimen. Martial art. Uh, people concerned he was a homosexual. Went basic training around defense forces. <clears throat> the militia. I, You know what? It looked like he just wanted to be a poet and an author. I, I kind of... But back in the day and coming out of war, what was there to do? I'm sure they needed a reconstruction. All right, so half a point coming from wealth. He only gets half a point because it was a fucked up childhood. So that ad ad uh, adversity is considered. I'm going to assume, even though any degree was a good degree, this guy seemed to have no work ethic. Like he didn't want to, he just wanted to write. Uh, so he's getting another half a point for a quasi stupid degree. Um. I'm going to award him another half a point. Yeah, he did write. I'm sure he made some money and, went in, and he did have some uh, private sector experience. But kind of like, hey, I, I just don't see a guy like, oh, and then he joined the Merchant Marines to put himself through college or to, to do something like There's none of that, that forging. So I, um, I'm going to give him a half a point for that. And then the egomania, like you're going to go rule the world. You're going to go... Why don't you just go work at... I mean, this was starting to happen in the 60s. You had a boom happening in Japan. Oh, he's going to write and he's going to act. Well, and there's nothing wrong with that. But what about what about working? You know, what about providing something of value to society so you're not a pariah? Maybe he was making enough money on his book. I, I still, so we're going to go one and a half. And here's another thing. He wrote an autobiography, which has nothing to do with the test, but you will never see me write an autobiography. I can't say that if someone paid me a billion dollars. Oh, yeah, I was born and it shit sucked and then I made a comeback and it kind of shit still sucked and fuck society. And that's the autobiography of Aaron Clary. Billion dollars, please. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not impressed with him as I thought I'd be. Um, one and a half. Should he run for office? No. He doesn't want to be like, oh, let's bring back the emperor. No. You're, he seems like the type, like, and I know how to lead the people. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think he should run for office. Would I like to have a beer with him? Yes. 
but more as like I'd be studying him. Like, okay, this is he, you're a different cat. You're different. Let me let me see what's in your mind. I'm uh, tell me more. You know, but I'm not invested yet. But tell me more. That kind of thing. All right. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. Links down below. Coming back from sabbatical on April 6th, unless you pay me gobs of money, in which case I'll do your video now. And we'll see you guys later. Toodles.